Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day of tea. Girl, right now, I am in Oslo, Norway. Uh, my quick stop in Madrid was amazing. Go and watch yesterday's tea if you, uh, you want to see a piece of Madrid. But right now, I'm in Oslo. Uh, I'm on my way to Hamburg, Germany. So I decided to stop here in Norway because I have never been in Norway before. Girl, I have to tell you, this is like so nice. Like you can literally feel that the air here, it's probably like the purest air that you will ever breathe. Uh, let me show you a bit around. Uh, I'm in this park. It's called Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday something park and it's literally open 24 7 all day all night and it is just so beautiful you know and I was like this is the perfect place to give the Beverly Troop some tea and what better than probably the whitest place on earth to talk about the real housewife of Atlanta, right? Because <clears throat> on Sunday was the premiere. Yesterday I was finally able to watch the first episode. And girl. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. I don't know why I'm talking so slow. I'm just enjoying the moment. I'm like in a trance here. Like everything is like so nice and pure. Um, okay, let's get a ratchet girl, okay? So the premiere of The Real Housewife of Atlanta, I have to tell you, it gave me life. I mean, it was so good. I mean, it, it felt so refreshing. It felt so like, all times they did an amazing job casting wise I mean I was like because a lot of people were saying like oh why bring Sheree back oh it's gonna be boring oh Drusy Dora is not gonna have like a storyline um, there were like so many people betting against Real Housewife of Atlanta you know but I have to tell you it gave me just on the first episode it gave me some kind of like sensation like oh my god this is going to be good you know like the interactions between all of them I feel like for the first time in a very long time in like probably almost all franchises you feel that this is like a group of real friends you know what I mean and, or, I mean, I know some of them maybe no, don't know each other too well, but, like, you have that feeling, you know, like, oh, they are friends. They they are shady as hell because, girl, I mean, it was, like, like minute one and the shade was already being thrown, you know. Um, but it was, like, like, on a comfort level that I think it's going to do so good. Girl, I have to tell you, like, if you have not watched it, go because... It honestly gave me life this first episode. Um, Kenya crushing hard on Brandon from Dancing with the Stars. I was like, okay, I see you, Cougar. Um, fun, fun story. Uh, I, when I was doing Uber, many, well, this was probably like, like three or four years ago. I was doing Uber, and actually, I pick up Brandon. And it was so funny because that day uh, we just start talking 
out of nowhere you know i didn't know anything and we were just talking because he was like super happy he was like oh, i just got uh, got great news and i need to talk to someone i was like okay and we start talking and he would tell me like he was dancing for dancing with the stars and i'm a huge fan of dancing with the stars so i was like oh my god what are the news whatever and he's like no i just um they just told me that i'm actually going to become a pro for next season and I was like oh my god that is going to be so so good you know congratulations I can't wait to see you blah 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 and the thing was like the next season I saw him but like one of like the randos you know uh dancers and I was like okay okay I thought you were gonna say be a pro so I was like very shady but then next season after that one they actually made him a pro so I was like, okay, maybe he wasn't lying. And anyways, yeah, he is super nice. You know that that one interaction that I have with him, he was like super nice. And <clears throat> and Kenya crushing on him. I mean, that would be a storyline, girl. Get yours, okay? Because that mark, like, no. Um. <clears throat> then we have the new friendship between Marlo and Kenya, which we already know that is gonna go sour, south. You know, <laughs> is that is not gonna last I, I, in fact they are already fighting by the end of this episode so <laughs> so that's that okay and then we have candy and what else happening this episode okay let's move into senia um i don't know exactly i don't know exactly how to pronounce her name i don't know if it's sonia or senia but i'm gonna say senia for now but um girl like the shade the shade that she thrown it's instantly like she has the spark okay she got what it takes to be a good housewife she's not caring about anything and you can say like she used to have a, a, a or she has a friendship with candy so you already have like a connection over there you have a connection with drew uh and like senia didn't spend one second to throw shade at drew sidora and i was like what now, this whole thing with Drew, girl, it's like, look, I like Drew. I think, <laughs> I think she, she, she needs some polish and I think she, but, but I think she can do a good job, you know, but the thing is like, girl, stop trying so hard to sell us things that, you know, they are bullshit, okay? Like, this whole thing of, like, uh, wanna be a Teddy Mellencamp, <laughs> I was, like, with the drop it with Drew or whatever, I was, like, come on. Like, you go, you have some surgery or whatever, and then you're gonna try to sell us the fact that you are skinny because of your uh, prep meal, prep meal or whatever, and the shade, the shade from the... um from the producers they they didn't let her pass one literally like they they didn't let her pass one every single thing that she said that it was wrong they were like right there to point it out uh <laughs> so it it's becoming a little bit of like how can we defend you okay like help me help you girl okay because i like drew and i think she has a lot of potential now the storyline about her husband, uh, it's hard, okay? Like, I, I, we, I, we have been saying this since last season. It looks like he checked out a long time ago, you know? It looked like he doesn't really give a fuck about anything. And now we're getting this whole assistant story. No. Mm -mm. Come on, like... Like, you can be friends with your assistant if you want to. You can do whatever you want. But the fact that this little thirsty hoe is texting him, oh, can I go and, and give you a massage? And he he even replies to that. It's like, no. You know? And, of course, and especially after the whole Tampa situation, of course, now, there, there is no trust. So, sadly, I know she wants to work through... Uh, through all of these, you know, and become like a stronger couple or whatever. But the thing is, I don't really see him trying. 
And I know, I mean, it's just what we see on the camera. On camera, you know, he might be doing other stuff, you know, when the cameras are off. But, girl, we are in a reality, in a reality show and we can only judge from what we see, right? And what we are seeing right now is that he doesn't give a fuck. And he is that kind of person who literally has an excuse for absolutely everything. And no matter what you say to him, it's like, you know, she, he is responding. He has an instant attitude. I don't see him being like really sorry about anything. And it kind, kind of like make me feel bad for Drew because, look, Drew is a beautiful woman, you know. And I think if she will really wanted to, she could get anything she wants like this and this guy had her has her over some kind of spell now you know we have seen other relationships like really go bad and then really go good you, you know do good so i'm hoping that that's gonna what's gonna happen with her but who knows like it's very it's very soon to tell but i am not convinced and his attitude it's really i really don't like it you know so i'm hoping that the girls are helping drew and i'm liking that the girls are not wasting time into confronting him especially kenya and candy and senia you know they are very like okay ralph's like come on like be real you know and because i think that he can manipulate drew a lot that's the feeling that I have from him, that he can manipulate her. And I don't and, and and I don't know, I think she deserves better. So let's see. I'm hoping that they that they're gonna be able to work through this stuff, but he's not taking any accountability. And now we have Tampa and now we have the assistant. No. I'm so sorry. But uh that's a no for me, okay? Marlo, Marlo Hampton, she is giving me life. And this is exactly what the show needed. And it was amazing because now we can say we have officially a replacement for Nini Leaks. Marlo is legendary, okay? And her comebacks are amazing. And I can tell you that she's going to give us uh, memes. She's going to give us one-liners. She's going to make us laugh. She's going to be dramatic, okay? So I'm just hoping that... It's not going to get to her head the same way that it did to Nini, you know. But now, like, it gave me the same sensation, like, that Nini used to give me, especially at the beginning, you know. So, I love it. And her story, you know, taking care of, of, of her um, nephews. And it's just beautiful. And I, I, I'm, I'm here for Marlo 100%. And then the shade at the end and the whole fight at the um, <laughs> Le Bay. I, I can't like Kenya I can't I think Kenya is like I love that bitch I'm so sorry I know some of you don't I know that they call her like whatever the shade and the reads from Kenya are like everything okay and when she said le bye oh my God. I couldn't like I was laughing so hard at that um Sharae I think she came hard she came with a lot and she is gonna be delivering okay Her, the whole storyline with tyrone is gonna be good it's gonna be good you know so i think that's pretty much what you know happened in this first episode and i'm very happy about it. i want to know all of your opinions let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the uh this season premiere and what you're expecting because i honestly i think it's good and if you are not watching girl watching watching is watching watching yeah latino moment guys latino moment in norway um so yeah get into it because i feel it's going to be good it it feels so much better than last season already so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.